My name is Piggy Harbonnet, and this is how I get fierce. Come on, get fierce. Fierce. Oh my gosh, getting back into the studio, it was just, it was amazing, it was, it was very thrilling, uh, and I think that what made it so special was that I was, you know, I had the opportunity to work with a really great producer, someone who really understands my sound, uh, someone who really understands my vision, and where, you know, where I'm trying to go with my music, and it was, it was just, it was just, it was exciting, it just felt so great getting back into the studio and, and doing what I love to do, which is music. So I think that it's more it's more happy kind of thing. <laughs> it's more happy. It 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 has that element of freedom if that makes any sense. And uh, it's it, I think that it's uh, and then it's very inclusive, all inclusive because you know anybody can listen to Get Fears and just kind of love it because it has great lyrics and it has it's, it's a great beat and it's a throwback you know to the 90s, which is which is what everybody is trying to go in, is going back for that feel right now. So. Um, it's very all-inclusive, so I love it. Oh, I just want people to have a great time. I want people to have a great time. I want people to be free and just, you know, be able to live out their fantasies, live out who they are. You know, I think that there's just so much going on now with, like, politics and uh, everybody's not just feeling safe. And I just feel like it's just a way to really empower each individual and just say, hey, you know, because everybody wants that. Everybody wants that little, mm, you know, that says, you know, be who you are, you know, lose yourself, get fierce, even if it's just for a moment. So as an artist, is if I'm able to make some you know take someone to that space even if it's just for a little amount of time and it's them just listening to my music then I feel like you know my purpose has been done well it's been a while since I last uh, released a song and my fans, my supporters kept saying, oh, Bibi, we want new music, when is new music coming out? And it was just such a demand for it. And as you know, it takes a village, it takes a whole machinery to make this happen. When you're releasing music, you just don't go, I mean, going into a studio and recording and just putting out this one thing, there's just, there's just so many layers to getting a successful record out there. So in my, my thought process was like, Let's, let's try this campaign and really see if the supporters really, really want to hear from me. And, and you know, just amazingly enough, um, we, we even got past the amount of money we we're trying to raise. And that was just encouraging for me to just really go into the studio and really do it for the, for the supporters. It's really for the supporters, you know. And so it was important that my first song was very lighthearted, was very happy, was, you know, encouraging and powerful to my fans. I want to tour, I want to go out there and spread some love and spread some fear and fierceness to people and I also keep on releasing music because the project was not just for one song it was for a whole bunch of music so we have a lot coming out, we have other singles that will be coming out we have an EP coming out and possibly an album so I'm mean, still in the studio working, you know, it doesn't stop, I'm still working What do I think separates me? I think my point of view um, I, I, I think a lot of people do not understand or do not know that I actually come, I really have a really strong music background. You know, a lot of people don't know that I grew up, you know, just surrounded my dad, played the guitar. You know, I was singing with my dad, I was singing in the church. I know people say the church thing is very cliche, but it's true. I was singing in the church to the point where I was actually a choir conductor. I started writing my own music and creating harmonies. And so I have such a solid foundation. Uh, when it comes to music and I you can see that with I bring that into my own projects now you know I've traveled a lot I've traveled all around the world I use that fusion I use that knowledge of different sounds and bring it also in my, and that kind of separates me a lot with what a lot of the other entertainers are doing it doesn't necessarily make it good or bad it just makes a difference you know so it's really up to you you know what it feeds your taste buds you know kind of thing hopefully mine does <laughs> which i'm sure he does <laughs>